What up, everybody? Welcome to another exciting episode of Club Zorf. <sighs> this is ridiculous. This literally has to be the darkest, most trying phase in Zimbabwean history. I mean, how do you even begin to find ourselves in this chaos we call a country? Regardless, we have to do what we can to survive and find a glimmer of hope somewhere. Life has to go on. Our sincere apologies from all of us at Gloves All for the silence. Times have been hard. Besides the agony of 18 to 19 hour power cuts, we've all had to deal with the rise of data costs and honestly with service providers having to use generators for their base stations, who can blame them? Yes, we've been on social media trashing the likes of Econet, but I'd like to give them a one-man standing ovation for still providing the services during such trying times. It's hard out here, and it's easy to point fingers and blame the powers that be for some of their seemingly dim-witted decisions. Literally dim-witted. Though dim kinda means low light while we have no light at all. But it is what it is. Find that light in the darkness of Zim's darkest hour. Anyway, enough of the doom and gloom. Things have not stopped happening in our beautiful country. Attention seekers have been getting their attention. And today, I'd like to speak on one particular attention seeker who I now believe needs professional psychiatric help. Olinda Chapel, a.k.a. My Nandi. Now, as we all know, she recently had a breakup with her toy boy husband, Titan. And in all honesty, I was rooting for them. But just like in her case with Stunner, it ended on a very dramatic note. And Olinda being Olinda, she took to social media. And to me, this is red flag number one. She did the same thing when things went sideways with Stunner. Fine, Stunner cheated, blah, blah, blah. Team Olinda claimed dude caused her stress, what not, which was understandable. Anyway, the phase came and went. And what does Olinda do? Well, she gets cozy with Titan, who was then Stunner's friend. Now, I don't know how close, but yeah, this was obviously a very vindictive move on Olinda's part. This, to me, is red flag number two. Also, keep in mind, she kind of made a pass at Mudiwa Hood, teasing what it would be like to date him and buy him a car. Mudiwa and Stunner are huge rivals, by the way. They didn't see eye to eye at the time. So for her, it was either get back at Stunner with an enemy or get back at him with a friend. The Mudiwa route was killed quick by Mudiwa's sister, Wanisai Mutandwa, a.k.a. Mawindo, who lashed out at Olinda saying they don't need her money. Mudiwa is good financially. Now, I personally would rather hear a cat get shredded in a blender than Mudiwa's music, but I respect that the dude didn't even flinch when Olinda made her rather desperate pass at him. Also, the fact that this woman seems to only want to date celebrities is another red flag to me. I've lost count of the red flags, to be honest. Anyway, she finally settled for Titan. I'm pretty sure Titan knew from the onset that this woman is not over Stunner. Because to me, Titan does not look stupid. Yeah, 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 he may have a tattoo with Olinda's name, but I don't think this guy is stupid. Hear me out here. Olinda has showed her weaknesses over the past two to three years, and anyone who has been paying attention can exploit her, if they have the fame, that is. Why would they exploit her? Well, because Olinda is rich. I don't know how rich, but rich enough to keep all these money-hungry dudes interested in her. A lot of us didn't think the Titan phase would last till we heard of a wedding. And after the wedding, Olinda was pregnant with the beautiful now three-month-old Nandi. I was happy for them. Only to see a press release statement by Titan talking about domestic abuse and blah, blah, blah. I thought, why do these people always feel the need to publicize their dirty laundry? No one is going to feel sorry for you. Olinda then came in hot on Instagram talking a whole lot of mess about Titan and him not being a good father and her having postnatal depression. Now, don't get me wrong here. I know postnatal depression is a real thing, and yes, it could have played a role in her rant. But, um, did 
Did she not do this when Stunner walked out? And to make matters worse, there are people who are on Linda's side again. Come on, people. Stop giving this woman more rope to hang us on. She needs help. Professional help. She got into the relationship for the wrong reasons in the first place. She was clearly not over Stunner. And as for Titan, he is no hero in all this, but he sure has a lot less to lose in the case. Now, now he's got a spousal visa to stay in the UK. That silly tattoo can be used by him in the courts to prove he loved her. That tattoo doesn't seem so stupid now, does it? <clears throat> anyway, y'all need to sit Olinda down. She needs to find herself first and stop chasing after these famous bad boys. They will only take advantage of her and walk out with a huge chunk of her spiritually and financially. All these men cannot be the problem, Melinda. You are the common denominator in all your relationship issues. Sit down, find yourself first, heal, then move on. Yes, we all deserve love, but how we go about it determines whether we'll find it or not. You have a big heart, Olinda. I see it. But unfortunately, you also have big issues mentally that need addressing for yours and Nandi's sake. That little person should not have to suffer in all of this. You need to be more mature for the sake of your child. You need to know all your issues are your doing because you are not giving yourself time to recover. And as for Titan, there's not much I can say. I hope his love for her was genuine. But if it wasn't, just be there for the life you two created. That's all I can say to him. And if Olinda doesn't change, another disaster is surely in the works. Moving on. Song of the Week is the Kure remix. Coming to us fresh with the video. And to me, this video is at par with the original. In terms of storytelling and being realistic. But to me, the song itself is not impressive. I wish they made a different song and not remix such a classic. See, the thing about his songs is you have to have a proper grasp on what made it a hit song before you attempt to make a remix. Otherwise, you're shooting in the dark. The chemistry amongst all the artists was not there. Enzo Aishal did an okay job. Aishan was prudent and didn't change too much, which to me was neither here or there. T Gonzi brought his usual energy and dope bars. <laughs> but this time it just didn't fit in with the whole song somehow. As for the rest, well, they were just there to fill in blank spaces, which the remix might probably have been better without. But this whole song, the more I listen to it, it just feels like a desperate attempt at clutching on the fading props and glory of the original. Yes, it will probably do good for conversation and comparing the original with the remix, but it also has the potential to ruin the legacy of the original track. Because every time I'm going to hear that beautiful original song, I'm going to think of this mashup of used motor oil and dirty Zinwa water boiled on an electric stove during a Zessa power cut. <laughs> yep. As my partner in crime, Celatine, said, it probably took a lot of effort to bring all these artists together. And as someone who knows how artists can be, I say well done for that. But this song should have been something else completely. And if the vibe is not correct, the end user will not give two flying hoots about the energy used bringing these rogue elements together. Another thought that comes to mind is maybe Aishan hasn't got another hit in him. Because this just felt too forced and lacked the laid back yet hard hitting feel of the original. But Brian, maybe he wasn't trying to make it sound like the original. Well then, they should have made a different song. Jeez. Brian Willis rating, I give it a 3 out of 10 for the song and a 9 out of 10 for the video. This is another episode of Gloves Off. If you got anything that you want to say to us, please feel free to contact us. Our Twitter, our Instagram is at GlovesOffZW. Facebook, just search for GlovesOffZW. Even go to our email if you want. It's GlovesOffZW at gmail.com. If you want to talk to me, my Twitter is BrianWillisZW. 
Thank you so much for the love and support. Uh, even though we had been quiet for a bit of time, the subscriber numbers still went up a bit. Obviously, marginally slower, but they still went up. And I got lots of love and respect for everyone, for the patients. Apologies once again for taking so long. But we are back and we are going to do our best to be as consistent as possible. So if you got any suggestions, if you got anything you want to add on to the show, if you want to be a part of the show somehow, please contact us on the details that we just gave you above. Thank you so much. I don't think I got anything else to say, man. Brown Willis, no relation to Bruce, and this was another episode of Gloves Off.